So here I have Bavind and Greg from the Android team who are going to show us more about what's up with 5G here at Google I.O. So what's new here and what are we showing today? So at I.O. we want to demonstrate to developers how Android is leading the way when it comes to 5G and what it means for them. At, in 2019, 5G is launching with over 20 carriers worldwide and on more than a dozen Android OEMs. Okay, cool. So there are going to be all these devices out there. Yeah. So what APIs have we now added to Android to allow developers to use this kind of capability? Yeah, so we've extended our Connectivity Manager API to be 5G aware. Um, so that you'll know when you have an amazing 5G connection from a bandwidth perspective. Yep. Additionally, we've also added the meteredness component to the API so that you'll know when that connection is metered or unmetered so you can do interesting things over the 5G connection. All right, so metered means you're paying for it per, per gigabyte or something like That's that. Right. So that yeah. would be a great opportunity to like download movies before a flight or when you're going away where there's no connectivity. That's right, yeah. So you can do all of these great downloads of content before you jump on a plane, for example. All right, nice. So, so from what I understand, 5G is you know, a lot faster than previous phone networks. Yep. And it sounds like it has the ability to do really fast downloads. So you have a phone there yep. that is so, 5G aware. Yeah, so let's take a look. Uh, to help uh, demonstrate 5G at I.O., we've actually set up three live networks here at I.O. on a range of six OEM devices. Oh, wow, so that's something people don't get to see every day. Here at Google I.O., we actually have real cell phone company base stations for our demos. So let's see what this looks like on a real 5G phone here. Yeah, so one of the challenges uh, that many of the AAA get app game developers might run into is that file sizes get larger and larger as we make games more and more immersive. Mm -hmm. For instance, this game is two gigabytes. Oh, wow. Okay. And that file size could mean the difference between acquiring a user or not, especially if they're on the go. Well, it's going to take hours. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So okay. with 5G, we can see that the download gets kicked off relatively quickly, and we're downloading megs. Oh, wow. 62. 62 megs. 120. Oh wow, so it's going like 60 megs at oh, a time, yeah. wow. 200, okay. 300, so okay, we're awesome. cranking right along. Yeah, well that's really quick. So um, what technological advances have they added to 5G in order to get the speed achievements that, they've, that right. we're seeing in yeah, the Yeah, so here? we've done a few things for 5G. One is new spectrum, mid-band and high-band. Um, increase the robustness, robustness of the link through beam forming technology and massive MIMO. And also we've improved latency, which is really important for gaming through shorter packet sizes and distributed core network, which is taking the central uh, core infrastructure of the carrier and bringing it closer and closer to the user. And that's allowed for much better latency, and that really matters to things like gaming. Yeah, well, that sounds like it really helped consumers and also developers who are going to be building these kind of apps. That's right, yeah. So, um, yeah, absolutely. And you can see we're ready to play the game. Oh, wow, cool. So that's all done, so yep. we're ready to roll. Okay, thanks for talking to us yeah. today. Appreciate your time. and. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to trying this out. Yeah. Great, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.